dad was an airline pilot, but when he came home, he considered that's when his real job started because uh, he loved to work with his hands. He bought a farm, small hobby farm in uh, Noakesville, Virginia. You know, I think of dad in many different roles. Um, I think of him as a spiritual leader. Um, prayer in our family was a daily occurrence. I think of him as a, as a father who taught us so much by the way he worked. He had a strong work ethic and he grew up on a farm. And he wanted us to, um, to appreciate country life uh, with all its different chores, all the different uh, hobbies that you would have on the farm. My brother Joseph, uh, who has Down syndrome, he probably spent the most time of anybody with my dad because in, in his retirement, uh, he was daily uh, with Joseph. You saw him everywhere he was, Joseph was. We saw a side of dad that uh, was just a very devoted father to a son who had uh, special needs. This colleague had actually gotten word before me and came to notify me that something tragic had happened with my dad and Joseph on the farm and that you needed to go to the hospital right away. We found out that what had happened is Joseph was vacuuming the pool. We have an above the ground pool and he was vacuuming the pool. And after he had vacuumed the pool, he was walking from the pool through the yard and there's a septic tank not far from the pool. There are two tops to the septic tank. One was covered with a sheet metal that had overgrown with grass and Joseph in walking across that had fallen in. Help! So mom says that dad comes out of the house and um, is chatting with her on the opposite side of the house that the pool is on. And she said, you know, um, could you go check on Joseph? into the septic down. tank just with Joseph. There, okay? Just hang in there. I think, you know, in that moment as a father, he was probably thinking, what can I do to save my son? This worker heard my dad call for help, and his name is Ned. Ned comes over to the tank. you pull. I'll push, you pull. Okay, pull. And right after he said that, Ned said his eyes went shut. He blacked out and um, he went under. 